Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. As you all see the topic, and we're going to be talking about... Tum, 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 tum. We're going to be talking about some amazing treatment that you can use at home for, guess what? Beautiful skin, for tightening the skin, for firming the skin, and with firm skin come younger looking you. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. If you're new to Sunday Chit Chat, what we do here is discuss the topic. We, you know, do a few shouts out and we basically just have fun for half an hour. Now, before I get into the shout out, I want to tell you guys that if I look a little, <laughs> not like, you know, all chirpy and all of that is because I had a really rough week. And uh, Normally, I don't really discuss my life on my channel because, as you know, you have to be careful. This is the public and this is being seen all over the world. But sometimes it is actually good to express yourself and to say things that happen. My week was terrible, really, really terrible. I had several headaches and stuff. I had this project working on. And uh, um, for those of you who do a few projects, sometimes you know that it could run way above what you intended to spend. And that is what happened to me this week, guys. It is so expensive to live in New York City. It's no joke. Now, the simplest of things that you take for granted is really costly here. And I learned the hard way this week. Did you guys know that if you have trash, extra trash or extra garbage, then you cannot put it in the bin for the garbage truck. You have to, if it's excess, you have to actually find a way to haul it away for yourself. Now, I have some broken concrete and some dirt. <laughs> now, when I was living back home in Jamaica, that's like nothing. I just pull up some stuff and throw it in the bushes or something. Here, it's a no-no. You really have to get it all away. And guys, I was really and truly surprised how expensive it is to move some dirt. <laughs> so this is what I learned. Now I can all talk fancy. Now I have about 10 yards of dirt. That's what I learned because they measure it by the yards, believe it or not. And they actually charge you according to the amount of dirt. Not only do they charge you to the amount of dirt, but depending on the neighborhood that you live in, more the higher the prices of the homes is the more you have to pay to all your dirt and concrete, right? Now, when I say concrete, I'm just talking about like you break up a little part of your yard that probably was, uh, was paved. That's like you know, 10 yards. This is about 10 yards. And don't tell anybody, but guess what, guys? 10 yards of dirt. My first estimate was 600 US dollar to move. And 10 yards, guys, don't think it's a lot. I had it on my phone. I wanted to show you guys, but I didn't pull the picture up. It's not a lot. It's, it's not wide. It's narrow. $600. And I was like... What? $600 to move a little bit of dirt? Like I could just take the, that up in a bucket if I have somewhere to throw it. But I don't have anywhere to throw the dirt, so I have to pay for it. And I was like, oh my God, I can't pay $600 to move so just a little bit of dirt. And then I was trying all over and having other people coming in to give me estimate. And they were like, basically giving me the same price. The same price, the same price. However, I end up paying $500 to move the dirt. And that's rough, guys. So that's basically my week in a nutshell. That's something that have me bugged out. I didn't know that. So I learned that it is easier to just leave things as it is, <laughs> buy some plant, cover up things, instead of trying to dig dirt here, because moving your dirt in New York City is extremely expensive. Anyway, guys, enough of this dirt talk. We're here to talk about 
ingredients and stuff at home that you can use to tighten the skin. If you find yourself having sagging skin and you really don't, you know, have that amount of money to go out and get it tight and you know i'm gonna share with you a few stuff that you could whip up in your kitchen and you can use that on a regular and do some facial exercises and facial massages and before you know it you're on your way to tight skin for cheap right <laughs> for, for cheap really and truly now guys let me go to the shout out and shout some folks out and then we're going to get further on in the topic does anybody here know ever have to pay to all dirt and concrete away and if so where you live and how much do you pay for that such craziness okay all right so we have rita holmes hello chichi happy sunday zanzel z-a-n-e-l-e galen i chichi day 12 hello and we have jenna ren for you too you are awesome thank you and we also have um um nikia nikia sims is a regular hello i have wrinkles under my eyes what can i use to get rid of it and we're gonna answer you in a few minutes nikki because we have some wonderful remedy coming up that you can actually use on your face we also have um ten ran t e r t e r e n t e r e n hello we also have um karma steel hello we have karen hi karen how are you karen mcdowell that is and make a forever my favorite well out you i love all you guys but make a forever is one that watch every single video as soon as it is posted and guys you need to start doing that so i can give you all a shout out compete against make up forever as soon as i post it i want a team guys i want a team of people who actually look out for the video and watch it as soon as it is posted so make up forever is one person that do that all the time never fails hello thank you so much Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and we have Malika um, Asan, uh, Asan Raza. Hi, my Aisha, I really like your remedy. Thank you so much. We have patient, um, A-M-E, wow. I can't even pronounce the names this week, guys. I don't know what is going on. We have our regular Annette. Hello, Annette Williams. We have Sandra F, regular. We have Pastor Mutali, first time seeing you. Um, love chatting about skin. Great Paula means hello. We have Essie. Hi, Essie. Hello. How are you doing? Constant Aburi, uh, you're my saving grace when it comes to skin issue. I'm grateful and thank you so much. Donna Timoil, regular on the show. Vanessa Williams, hello. Sandra, um, no, Sharon Francias or Francisco. I ain't gonna spoil the name today because my I'm really not pronouncing the names right today. Now guys, the first thing we're gonna talk about is wrinkled skin. Now, each week, never fail, every week, somebody's gonna tell me that I don't have wrinkles. Now with all the stress I have this week, zooming on my skin. Yes, I'm wearing makeup, but look, you see that? This, that's wrinkles, right? And this morning it was looking really, really awful, but I use some cucumber and things like that to trying to look a little nice for you guys today but yeah i do have wrinkles and if you look at my laugh lines you could see a little wrinkle here and a little wrinkle there and i try to treat it i'm not a chicken guys i'm you know getting on up in there so i try to look for anti-aging stuff that i can use on my skin to have my skin looking younger fresher and you know supple looking right now the first ingredient we're going to talk about is coconut oil mm, yes coconut oil and don't tell me coconut oil is going to clog your skin because if you exfoliate your skin on a regular your pores are not going to be clogged and the good old coconut oil the reason why it's number one to talk about today is because that's what i grew up with no joke if you have been watching my channel for a long time i never ever i did that i grew up using coconut oil on my skin my grandmother she makes coconut oil and she used to sell it okay so she got through the entire thing we got the coconut like she normally get a hundred coconut break them grate them put the the juice in some big pots right big pots and then she put a stick on it <laughs> i don't forget these things she put a stick over it and she leave cover it with a plastic leave it outside overnight the next morning and this is how you make coconut oil guys at home the next morning she go and she take off all the top 
because what happened, it's settled and all the fat from the coconut come on the top. She scraped that off. And after she scraped that off, then that is what she's going to boil. She put that in a big old pot. She put it on the fire. And at that time, it was no stove top. At that time, it was a fireplace in the kitchen. And that stayed there and it boils down. When it boils down till the bottom is almost burned, guess what's on the top? Clean, pure, fresh, 100% natural coconut oil. And that is what I grew up using on my skin, my entire skin, and not only on my skin, but also in my hair. So I am one person that's going to say coconut oil do work. So don't tell me coconut oil is going to clog. If you clean your skin, you take care of it. Coconut oil is great for your skin, your hair, and your nails, okay? So coconut oil, now we're gonna mix some coconut oil today to tighten the skin. Now, what can we mix the coconut oil with? We could mix the coconut oil with a lot of skin tightening ingredient, such as put some coconut oil in some papaya, put some coconut oil in some avocado, mix some coconut oil with some cucumber, blend it up and put it on your face as a facial mask. Coconut oil is very, very versatile. When you finish all of that, what you're gonna do, you take a little bit of the coconut oil, rub it in your hand and you're gonna use it to massage the skin, okay? You're gonna massage the skin with that coconut oil. So you have a wide variety of things that you could use to tighten your skin using coconut oil. Papaya you mix it with, um, avocado, um, even watermelon, blend some watermelon, blend it with some coconut oil, put it on your skin, leave it on for 30 minutes, and you're on your way to wrinkle-free skin. Not only are, um, is the skin going to be wrinkle-free, but it's going to be looking radiant, okay? And that is what you want. You want your skin to look fresh and young and glowing, even without makeup. Your natural skin is what we're talking about, okay? So that's number one um, treatment that you can easily make at home for tightening and firming your skin. All right, back to the board. Um, Amandi, um, Rosie, hi, I love your channel. Please, how can I get rid of all the veins on my legs? It's really killing me. And that you can use coffee. And I have some wonderful treatment out there using coffee and other ingredients that you can use to get rid of varicose veins, okay? So you're gonna, when you're done, and I have like some really popular ones on the channel that people really, really and truly go crazy for. So when you're finished, you're just gonna Google um, Varakos veins, Chichi Beauty, and you're gonna see a few videos pop up and just use those remedies and before you know it, you will be on your way to, you know, your veins not showing like, you know, a low here, here I am popping out. All right. All right. Now go back to the board. Um, Joanne Williams, thank you for all the good tips and video XXS. And you are so welcome. Now, Nikki, I like the coconut oil milk with what your grandmother did. Thanks for those um, DIY. Most likely that's what you were saying. And you are so welcome. See you, Ma. S-I-K-Y-O-M-U. -S and I have veins all over my hands. So help me to get rid of them. And guess what, guys? I have a wonderful... Oh, look at my hands, guys. Guess what? I have a wonderful treatment. It's going to be post tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you guys need to try that. It's a treatment for getting rid of wrinkles on your hands. It's going to have your hands looking soft and smooth. And mine is feeling great because I made it yesterday. And it's going to be post tomorrow, guys. So you got to watch the video for that. And for those of you who can find the ingredient, this one is a must try. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the video is going to be out to take care of your aunt. So that was actually a good question. Sandra Levy, and I am um, familiar with the name Sandra Levy. Um, I'm trying to remember. Sandra Levy was like someone in, on television. That's just the name. I don't know if this is the Sandra Levy. JBC, I think it was. And... She used to do some shows. Um, anyway, I hope um, it's the same Sandra Levy RV. Probably not, but as soon as I saw that name, that's what came to mind. I don't remember all the details, but yeah, that was a TV personality um, back home years ago. 
over 20 odd years ago. All right, um, Cass Martin, hello, my lovely. Hope um, you are having a good day. I totally love your remedies and thank you very much. Cat Snatch Fever, what about eye bags? And guys, I posted a video the other day with eye bags. Go on my channel, look under eye care and you're gonna see a couple of videos well. However, my favorite, my go-to, look, I stressed out all week. I don't have eye bags, cause guess what? My parsley, <laughs> I mixed some parsley with some cucumber this week and that's what I use on my eyes. So look at the remedies anyway, but quick and easy without even watching a video, mix some parsley with some cucumber, you could tip a little bit of baking soda in it if you want, blend it up, put some cotton pads in it and put it under your eyes. It's not only gonna get rid of your eye bags, it's gonna also help with your wrinkles and fine lines and it's also gonna get rid of your dark under eyes. So go ahead and try that. All right, number two guys, and for the person who was asking about the veins, I have coffee as another thing that you're gonna use on your face to tighten the skin. Now, coffee is also great for circulation. So for those of you with um, spider veins, varicose veins and all of that, the coffee is going to help. For wrinkles and fine lines on your face, the coffee is going to help with that. And the coffee is going to help to tighten the skin. Now, you can do a lot of things with coffee also. Blend the coffee. Mostly for the coffee, it's good to use in the scrub. However, for me, what I tend to do, I take my pure coffee, I blend it and I put it in my coffee maker, right? And I brew it and the liquid from this, I make it really, really strong too. And that liquid I use, I put it in some yogurt, I mix it with my papaya, I mix it with my avocado, I mix it with coconut oil and milk and use all of that on my face. And that is going to help to tighten the skin. So all these ingredients that I'm talking about, research it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead, research them, research them. As a matter of fact, go in your house, pick up their favorite bottle of facial moisturizer that you bought at the store, those nice fancy ones, and read the label, and you're going to be shocked to see what's in it. So coffee, 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 coffee. Use coffee on your face and use coffee on your entire body. Don't be afraid to play with the coffee. Use it as a facial scrub. Blend your coffee, put some coconut oil in it and use it to exfoliate the skin, the neck and the decollete area. Don't be afraid to go down on your body also. And those areas where you have those varicose veins and spider veins, exfoliate, just massage the coffee, make the coffee in a nice space and massage these areas. So. Coffee is one that you can play with and coffee along with other ingredients when blend can really and truly help your skin to look really tight and toned and not sagging at all. So that's my second tips for tightening and, you know, really giving your skin. Oh, wow, my skin is looking really nice. Guys, some wonderful things coming up this week. <laughs> Uh, that's all I can say. Some wonderful treatment is coming up this week. All right. So just make sure. And, and the regular time for videos now, guys, I finally, finally, finally decide that 9 a.m. in the morning is the perfect time to post videos. So that's the time I'm going to be posting my videos, guys. So look out every morning. You're going to know at 9 a.m., the Eastern Standard Time, the video is going to be up so you could always go and watch it or watch it after, but you know it's going to be posted at that time. And at that time, I realized that all my Filipinas, my um, Indian and, um, you know, South Africa and all these places, when I post at nine, everybody get a chance to see the video. When I post later in the evening, like my Filipino, they go by 12 noon, they're all asleep. I think they're like 12 hours or ahead of us or something like that. So they don't get to see the video till like the next day. But 9 a.m., it's time for them to go to bed. So they are able to see and then I could accommodate like my, you know, Americans and stuff like that. So 9 a.m., guys, 
Chichi Beauty videos will be posted at 9 a.m. every day. Okay. All right. So let me see who is here. Um, embrace Tim. What can I use for dark spot on my face? And I have so many things out there, Tim. Wonderful, wonderful treatment. I use a lot of potato to get rid of dark spots. Now I'm going to give you a quick and easy one. I don't even have a video on this one, Tim. Get yourself some potato, like Irish potato, some people call it. Here in America, it's potato. It's just that we have like Idaho and we have Yukon and all of that. But get yourself some regular potato. Juice it. Don't just grate it or blend it and extract the juice. Get yourself some papaya. All right? Put a little papaya in there and get some lemon. Squeeze it in there. Blend it up and use it on your skin two to three times a week. And it's going to help to fade your dark spot. Just give it a try. That's a recipe I make just for you. Okay? So you're getting something for yourself that no one else has. Okay? Embrace me. Tim, that is. All right. What can I do? And this is um, Ayana Arsford, H-O-R-S. What can I do? to grow my hair. What you need to do to grow your hair and <laughs> don't laugh, don't wash it. <laughs> it's not no joke guys, but not as often, all right? That actually works for me, right? However, castor oil, castor oil is really, really good for your hair. Now you could actually make a hair mask and I have several of those on my channel. Now you could get some yogurt. You could even put a, a egg in the yogurt blend it up, put some good old coconut oil and some castor oil, some carrot oil, blend all of that up, put it on your hair, put a shower cap over it, walk around with it for 30 minutes or more. And there you have, you have a wonderful, wonderful hair mask. When you rinse that out, use the same castor oil and grease your scalp with it. Just, you know, put it on your scalp. Another thing you can do is make sure to massage. A lot of people don't know this, but this actually helps with blood circulation for your hair. You massage your scalp, massage your scalp. And another thing we used to do when we were growing up, like, oh, we want to grow our hair. We used to just put our head down between our legs and just flip it up fast. <laughs> don't do it if you're too old. Don't, don't, don't. That blood rush could go crazy. All right, don't do that. But if you're like younger, that's just something we used to do, right? And the blood flow is going to help the circulation, and that's going to help your hair to grow. But really and truly, leave that to the young people. But just massage the scalp when you apply your treatment to your hair, okay? All right. And don't wash it. I mean, a lot of people are going to beat me on this. If you really want it to grow, don't wash it every day. I mean, some people, most people, well, some people wash every day. I don't wash my hair every day. I really and truly don't. But if it's what you normally do, then that's fine with you. But it could grow faster if you don't wash it. That's my belief, guys. Don't kill me. That's my belief. All right? All right. Number three, let me see the time. Oh, my goodness. That's not real. Number three, yogurt. And I just talked about yogurt. Yogurt and milk is actually good. The lactic acid in all these things is going to really help to tighten the skin. So you could use yogurt. You could use milk on your skin to help to tighten your skin. And these are also versatile because then again, you could mix them with other skin tightening stuff like avocado and papaya. You can also mix it with egg, which is really good. You could actually mix your yogurt with some fuller dessert. And fuller dessert is another ingredient that is really tested and proven to tighten the pores at the skin and not only to tighten the skin but also to help to shrink pores so you're getting a double whammy right there and number four i'm, I'm rushing here because i'm surprised my time is going is banana and that's right banana guys and i have a lot of wonderful recipes that you can go and look at to use your banana banana is great for the skin banana is perfect for getting rid of wrinkles and you could just use the banana just by itself Blend the banana and guess what, guys? Do not leave the peel out. Scrape the inner part of the peel because that's where all the goodness is. Blend it with the flesh of the fruit. Put it on your face. Now that's a go for the wrinkle and firm in the skin. But guess what? Take that same banana, mix it with some avocado, put a little milk in it, use it on your face. For those of you who don't use milk, get yourself some almond milk, okay? 
and some carrot oil or some carrot juice mix it in for those of you who don't use milk my vegan subscribers get yourself some carrot juice and blend it with all of this wonderful goodness this yogurt blend it whatever i said to use milk you could just omit the milk and use some carrot juice because i am doing this huge research and carrot and i'm finding some wonderful wonderful information carrot have vitamin a which vitamin a as you guys know that i'm using the vitamin a capsule on the skin but guess what carrot could replace that so use up your carrots these days guys anti agent carrot 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 blend it squeeze it out put it in some full dessert put it in some yogurt mix it with your papaya just have fun with it because that is one thing they don't talk about and that is actually great for tightening and firming your skin and for giving your skin that younger look that we also want now we also have my favorite aloe vera don't forget guys wrinkle wrinkle aloe vera just Take it, the fresh aloe, cut it, slice it, rub it on your skin. And if you don't want to do that alone, just mix with all these other stuff that I'm talking about. And that is going to help to tighten your skin. And the last one, I already mentioned that before, is papaya. So you have a wide variety of stuff. And I also give you a few recipes that you can use. Just watch the video over and write it down. You know, if not, you don't want to bother with that. Just put papaya, chichi beauty, and you know, video is going to come up where I use these wonderful things to make wonderful treatment for taking care of your skin. All right, Rita Holmes, I have found that tea tree oil at my hormonal acne. So I made me a facial cream with tea tree oil and some coconut oil and it works wonders. And that is actually a wonderful comment because guess what? If you have acne, you can use any one of the remedies that I post on my channel. All you need is a little bottle of tea tree essential oil. And whatever you put on your skin, you're going to tip a little of that in it. And that is going to take it to the next level. That is basically just all you need to turn it into an acne treatment because the tea tree oil is anti-inflammatory, it's antibacterial, and it's going to help to get rid of all of that pus and stuff from your face. So if you have acne by yourself, never fail a small bottle of tea tree oil is going to do wonders for you. Okay. All right. Amanda Rodriguez, Chicha, please tell me what you think of Derma Roller and, ah, do I know this name? Anyway, Derma Roller, I, I actually receive a few offers to do the Derma Roller. However, because I'm so bombarded with stuff to do, I didn't accept it, but I am going to Finally, Amanda, do the derma roller, and then I'm going to come back and say what I think about it, okay? All right, and we have, um, let's see who is here, my time, oh my goodness, where does the time go? Um, Pam, um, Pam Andor, I made this serum with papaya, aloe vera, rosehip seed, and rice, use it every day and love it, and that's a one, guys, that is actually a wonderful, 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 wonderful treatment. If you're looking to tighten your skin, if you're looking for younger looking skin, and don't forget your neck, okay? So you're going to make this one, and it's made with papaya, aloe vera, rose dip seed oil, and rice. It's one of my favorite go-to um, remedy for, you know, freshening up my skin. So thank you, Pam, for that comment. Um, Jeanette Fuller. Oh, Fuller. Guess what, guys? That's actually my name, Fuller. Anyway, um, thank you from the mountains of California. And uh, thank you, my relative. <laughs> okay, um, please, did you tell me something for shiny skin? Coconut oil. Exfoliate the skin. Co brown sugar with a little coconut oil. Baking soda with a little coconut oil. Rinse your skin. And reach for some coconut oil, some almond oil, or some grapeseed oil, depending on your skin type. Put it on your skin. And that's, there you have it, instant shiny skin, believe it or not. Okay? But continue to use it because I really do know what you're saying. You're saying that you want your skin to look clean and clear at all times. You have to follow a routine. You got to exfoliate. And I taught this every week. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. 
exfoliate. Exfoliate your skin if you want your have your skin looking good. Use all of these wonderful remedies that I post. Just choose one. Try one, try all. You're not going to try everything. Everything is not going to work for you. Some is going to work. Some is not going to work because everyone's skin is different. Find something that works for you. Play with it and when you use all of that wonderful things, you do some facial exercise, you do some facial massage, you drink a lot of water, you work out, and guess what? You're going to look good because when you do all of these things, you're going to feel good from the inside and it's just going to shine on the outside. And that is no joke, okay? That is something I could swear by. When you are happy on the inside, it shows on the outside, okay? And happiness could be simple, just splashing on a wonderful papaya facial mask that you make in your kitchen for yourself, okay? So try to take care of you. Love yourself. My time is up, guys. Where did my time go? Now, guys, tomorrow, 9 a.m., and we're going to be going and we're it's so wonderful guys i can i'm so eager to share but i can't let the secret out tomorrow you're going to wash cuz we're going to be having a wonderful treatment for your hands all right my time is up um victoria edoo thank god you are here please i have sunburn on both sides my face i can't go out without makeup what can i use aloe vera Aloe vera, no joke. And I have a wonderful recipe that I post for sunburn. That video didn't really take off, but a lot of people comment that they do use it and it's really, really good. So you could go watch the video. If not, get yourself some fresh aloe. If you don't have fresh aloe, get yourself some aloe vera gel store bought and use it on that area and definitely gonna help, okay? And exfoliate your skin also. Uncle Jimmy, hi, Uncle Jimmy. Hi, where is this wonderful video coming from? Okay, the video that I'm assuming you're talking about, the one that I'm gonna post tomorrow is gonna be right here on my channel, Chichi Beauty. You could go Google Chichi Beauty YouTube channel is going to come up and the video. But Uncle Jimmy, guess what? Look below. You're going to see my face. And beside it, the word subscribe is going to be there. Click on the word subscribe. And right on the side, there's a little bell. Click on that also. And guess what? As soon as I post a video, that video I'm talking about is going to pop up on your computer. You're going to get a notification. So that's the easiest way to know exactly when the video is posted. Okay? Thank you so much, guys. And to recap, um, five um, amazing treatment that you can use on your skin to tighten and tone and firm your skin. We have the good old coconut oil. We have our coffee. We have papaya. We have yogurt. We have banana and we have aloe vera. And we can mix all of that together or we can just play around with all those wonderful ingredients and you're on your way to nice, tight firm, beautiful skin. That's my time, guy. I love you guys. Join me next week. Um, Gogeta, can you please tell me what to use instead of um, tropical fruit? Um, we have bad quality. Okay, so definitely my time is up, but I am going to come back next week. I hope I remember. Let me put it down so that I could address your question next week. Okay, I'm going to do some research and come up with other things that you could use to replace. All right. Thank you all for watching. I love you. Go watch my videos, guys. If you missed videos this week, click on my face. It's going to take you to my channel page and browse around and you're going to see all those videos that you missed this week. Love you all and I'll see you next week. Same time, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another in our series, Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. And 9 a.m. is the time we're posting videos now. Have a wonderful week, guys. Take care of you. Love yourself. Smile. Do something great for you, okay? Love you all. Bye-bye.